we're going to use the G-Power software to determine the minimum sample size needed to run a one-way within group ANOVA, also called repeated measures, right? There's just one group, but multiple repeated measures. Let us pull up the G-Power. And so again, it is an F-test. The ANOVAs are in the F-test family. And we're going to go to... Now, there could be a little bit of confusion here, but we're going to use repeated measures. We're going to go to within fact, so within factors, repeated measures. Again, it gives us a medium effect size, which is the Cohen's F, which we can easily translate into an eta squared if you really want. Critical alpha is 0.05, unless otherwise stated. Change to 0.95 to 0.8. And I think I deleted the point there. Let's put that back in there, 0.8. And number of groups. So we're going to just put one. We're going to change that to one group, right? One, this because this is a one-way repeated measures ANOVA. And let's say we had three repeated measures. Now, the correlation of, um, among the repeated measures, we just leave that at the default. And a non-sphericity correction, I am not even sure what that is. So let's calculate this and see what happens. I am. So it looks like we need a total sample size of 28. Again, repeated measures normally don't need as many subjects as the between groups types of tests. That's it. MGZ out.